hair, like, you know, not like very nice clothing and, and a big smile on her face. A very happy lady. And uh, the lady, she was traveling a lot before she came here. Yeah. She was looking and looking and looking and looking around the world to find a very, very nice place to settle down. So to really like, okay, this is my place, you know, this is where I, where I feel good, where I feel happy. And she ended up in that house, like just there at the lake, because it's very beautiful, with the trees, and she likes all the seasons, and even with the snow, or in summer, or spring, when all the flowers are coming out. She really, really loves this place. We can meet him? You can maybe meet her later, yeah. I, I don't know where she's at this very moment, but maybe you can meet her. Yeah. She, her name is Tina. Tina. And, uh, and Tina, when she was traveling, like I, I, many of you were traveling also already at the time, you know, you go on these strange countries, you think you're hours and hours in a bus or a train, and you have these thoughts about, like, okay, about your life, you're thinking, and like, what I want it to be, like, how, how will it be, like, this perfect place to settle? Like, slowly you, you understand, like, what, what you actually want at this, this place. And uh, so she had many thoughts about, about her expectations of this perfect setting, or like, where she could live, this mood, or like, her energy level, every kind of things. And then she came here, and from her trips, she had these bags. Because for every thought, good thought she had about what was going to come, she had like a seed that she had taken with her from her trips. And she planted all those seeds in the garden there, and around the lake, the, the, the soil is very, very good there. And so she planted them. And like all her, her dreams of what might happen, like they grow, they grow through the soil like flowers. And so she came with this thing. And she also, when she was traveling, she saw many good things like to take care also of like plants and the flowers and the environment. Like so she also brought a lot of tools with her. And she has like a small behind the house you do see it now, there is a small house. And there's a lot of gardening tools to take care also of the garden. So then it becomes very beautiful. Like now maybe it's a bit unfortunate we're not here in spring because you don't see so much of the garden, but I'm sure you can imagine a very beautiful garden. Okay, now we go back to you because you were also traveling recently. All of you were traveling to come to this place. Yeah. So to come here to Costa Tano, this very, very place. So close your eyes. And now we're going to. It's like, like a movie, you know, like these old cassette players, like when you have a movie and you can like rewind. You still see the images because now with the DVD you just go to the beginning of the chapter. No, it's like the old movie. And you rewind, so it goes fast. Eh? And you go, and you see, ah, you were just even yesterday or the day before, you were arriving in Estonia. One moment, okay. Then before, you were departing to Estonia. And you had a lot of thoughts, ideas, some feelings about what was going to come. You're back there, your departure, maybe rushing to pack your bags. Or maybe you were very well prepared and you put everything already a week before in your suitcase. And even before you started packing, you were a lot in contact with Tera. She was writing emails to you and you were answering and maybe you felt very excited when you, when you got the new email, like telling you the handbook, like some things that were written. You started already to imagine what it would be to be here. Back. And before, of course, you got the emails from Teve, you were filling in the application form with all those difficult questions. And maybe it took you ages, maybe you, you started and you had to save it and go back the next day to complete it. So you were thinking about this moment already, when you would arrive, like expectations, what you want to learn, some ideas, your, your needs, if you want to be a vegetarian, during this training course. <coughs> and even before that, at the beginning of the movie, you found out about the training course. You read it somewhere, you got an email, you found out about this call. 
and you felt <coughs> this is this is what I need to react to. This is the place I want to be. What were your thoughts back then? Okay. Now we do a fast forward, so you can open your eyes again. <laughs> the movie goes very fast back. We're here, okay? We're back here. Right now, this very moment. Here we go back now, okay? Now this we go. So along the way, you have your thoughts, but now we want to go back about, okay, what are your expectations right now? What do you hope to, to live here, to experience here? Huh? So what do you hope to take back home? Hmm? But I'm going to be realistic this because likely, like your feelings along the way, there might also have been some fears, like, hmm, is it really something for me? Or like, will I like it? Or I don't know, all kinds of fears. Like you have these expectations, but maybe there are also some fears that maybe might interrupt that these expectations come true. Yeah? So you also have some fears. And then I go back to the, the, the little house of, of Tina, where there is a lot of tools. Yeah? And these are basically like the contributions, like what you can bring, like what you bring all here, what you have right now with you, to like make these expectations grow, you know, like make your garden flourish, and it will help. And maybe not only your own expectations, but also the expectations of the others. Like what, what can you give during these coming days to the others, so that you can help them, that the expectations of the others also grow. Okay? It's quite abstract now, so let's make it a bit more concrete. I'll give you soon three post-its, uh, three colors of post-its. Take some, take at least three, uh, and put the leftovers in the middle, so in case somebody needs, they can pick up more. And you will get some time to think about it. And think about seriously, what, what do I expect to happen? What are my hopes for these coming days? Like, what, what are my <gasps> aha moments I'm looking for? And what are these things I want to, yeah, get it. That's it. You know, some things like that. So you get, take some green post-its, and uh, it's very important for every thought, every seed you want to plant here, you only put it on one post-it. So if I have two seeds, two ideas, I put still two. And I ask you to have at least three of them. You can have more, but try to think at least of three separate expectations. And then we have the yellow ones. The yellow ones are for the fears. What are you a bit afraid of that might happen? <coughs> Again, the same, you put at least three every time on a different post -it. It's quite clear. Huh? And then the pink ones, they are for the tools, your contributions, what you want to give to this group or to yourself during the next days. Hmm? What you can bring, like your energy, or whatever. Like You know better than I what you can bring. Um, I'll give you some time and I see everybody's a bit ready. Like, well, let's say like 10 to 15 minutes to try. If you need more time, we will see if we can to give you more time to think about it seriously. Okay, so now we get getting very serious. Green expectations, yellow Green fears. Green expectations, yellow fears, and the thing is Okay? okay. So you